Today we're learning about PHP 4 and while loops. Loops help you execute a block of code one or more times, and they're very useful. Hello and welcome. My name is Dave. I'm a full-time developer and university web development instructor. My goal is to help you learn how to build the web. And if you'd like to see more of that, click the subscribe button you see right over there. Now let's get started. As a reminder, the first thing you need to do is have a local server for your development environment running. I use the Jamp local server that has Apache and MySQL. We'll just need Apache to run PHP. If you do not have Jamp installed, I have a video that will show you how to do that and I will link to that in the description below. Right now, I've got it running already, but I'll click stop. And it just takes a second. And once it stops, it will switch over to start and then I'll click it and we'll get going. We're ready to start the Apache server. And you can see down here it says it is running and we have a blank page to the right. And when I change the code here and then refresh, we'll see the changes. So let's get started with PHP for loops and while loops. We'll start on our page by opening up a PHP area or tag and there's the closing tag. So we start out with the less than sign question mark and PHP, and then we close it out with a question mark and a greater than sign. And we're going to start with a while loop. The first thing I'm going to do is define a counter variable. Sometimes you'll see this just as I, sorry for integer, but I'll put counter so we know exactly what we're talking about. I'm going to set it equal to zero. And then we're going to set a while loop and we'll say while, the counter is less than or equal to five. And now inside the loop, let's go ahead and echo the counter to the screen. And notice we're inside an H1 element, so it should be fairly large on our page. And then we're going to concatenate here with the period and then include a break element for HTML, so we get the counter, we'll get a new number on each line is exactly what we should have. But this would be an infinite loop if we stopped right here because nothing increments the counter, it would always be zero. So we need to add another line, put counter plus plus, which will increment the counter by one each time the loop executes. Now I'll save this and we'll refresh the page and we started at zero and counted to five. Let's look at another example very similar to this, but with a for loop. So I will comment this out. We've got counter defined above, which is okay, but we don't need it with a for loop because in the for loop, that's the very first thing we define. So in this instance, I'll set it equal to 10. And then we'll say while the counter is less than, or actually let's say while the counter is greater than zero, there we go. And then we'll say counter, and this is the decrement, the two minuses. So we'll be counting down instead of up. Now something else we can do is assign the count to a variable, but we'll have to have this variable defined first. And I'll show you why. I'll get the error on purpose here. I'll have set a message variable, and then we'll say is we could say is equal to and then put message again. But if you remember from the combination operators, we can kind of say that in shorthand by putting the dot equals. So that's saying message is equal to message plus, and then I'll say counter. And then once again, let's add that break just so they would be on a new line. And then after the loop would be over, we would want to echo the message. But there is an issue here, and that is we're trying to add message to, to message, really with this dot equals, which is the same as message equals message plus, but we haven't defined message. So let's look at this error. We get undefined variable message. So that's not going to work. If you want to do something like that, and likewise, I'll go ahead and spell it out if we put message and then another dot just to concatenate with counter, we will still get the same error. And yes, we got the same error. 
So what we need to do if we're wanting to do something like that is define message above our loop. And I'll just set it equal to null. And then we can have the dot equals once again. And I'll refresh the page. And now it counts down from 10 to 1. Now if we wanted to count up from 1 to 10 or 0, we'll say counter equals 0. Or let's just count from 1 to 10. So counter equals 1. And then we'll say while well, a counter is less than or equal to 10, and then counter plus plus, we should be good. And yes, we got a count from 1 to 10. Now let's look at another example of a while loop. And we can remove most of this, I believe. And we're going to define an array. So I'll set this array variable to an array that has some names in it. Put in Robert, Jimmy, JPJ, and Bonham. Okay, for the array now, if we want to loop through the values of an array in PHP, we'll say while, and then let's go ahead and put that counter variable back. I guess I'll need that for a while. And now we're going to get the count of the array, which is like getting the length of the array in JavaScript. So once again, I'll add this counter up here before I forget. Put the counter equal to zero. And now while the count of the array or the length of the array is less than, or while the counter is less than the length of the array, there we go. Because the array values start at zero, the count, say we have four values here, the count will be four, but the array values will be held in zero, one, two, and three. So we want to say echo and now We'll reference the array, but here is where we reference the number of the value, and that is what the counter represents. After that, let's once again concatenate and put a break just so they go on different lines. And then again in a while loop, since it's not at the top, we need to remember to increment the counter. If you don't do that, you get an endless loop because it never counts on up from zero. So you always have to remember to put that increment at the bottom. We'll save that. And now let's refresh the page. And we get all four names, each on their own line. Now let's do the same thing with a for loop once again. And you can notice that it's almost a preference, like which you prefer to use. Sometimes one is more efficient than the other. I prefer for loops partially because I can easily forget to increment the counter at the bottom of a while loop. So we'll start with four, and we'll set the counter here equal to zero. And that's the other thing. I don't have to set a counter above like I did with the while loop. It's defined right here. And now we'll say counter, and we'll say less than the count of the array. And then we'll increment the counter right here as part of the loop. Once again, looking very much like JavaScript when we define that for loop. Okay, now our echo statement. And we want the array. And of course, we reference the counter for the value. And this is really just the same as it was in the while loop. Semicolon to end that out. And now we'll go ahead and refresh the page. And we get the same result with the for loop. Hey, if you have questions or comments, please leave them below. There's much more to learn about PHP. In the meantime, there's a couple of videos on my left that may help you on your coding journey. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing, and I'll see you next time.